Thank you very much. Madam Speaker, I'm, I'm glad uh, the gentlelady talked about the need for ethical medical research because one of our panel's accomplishments is to show how STEM Express undermined the very foundations of ethical American scientific research. First, federal regulations require researchers to obtain informed consent from each person used as a subject. The basic element of con informed consent includes a detailed explanation of the purposes of the research for which tissue is being obtained. STEM Express, as we found, simply did not follow that requirement. HHS regulations also require that in obtaining consent, researchers, quote, minimize the possibility of coercion or undue influence. Well, STEM Express documents that we, found, that we uncovered shows that its employees were already promising to deliver baby body parts even before the abortions were performed. That raises serious concerns that there may have been coercion or undue influence on women to donate parts of their aborted babies. Now, second, federal regulations require that all research that involves human subjects needs approval from an institutional review board, or IRB. As a medical researcher, I had to file IRB applications to receive IRB approval from my university's IRB. Now, it turns out that STEM Express received their IRB approval from a company called Biomed IRB, a California firm that is basically an online mail-order IRB that the federal government actually barred for two years because they violated FDA rules in granting their IRB approval. The FDA gave the panel its file on Biomed IRB. Madam Speaker, that file literally was more than a foot high. HHS regulations require IRBs to, quote, prepare and maintain adequate documentation of their activities, including copies of all research proposals reviewed, records of continuing review activities, and copies of all correspondence, all correspondence between the IRB and the investigators. In this case, STEM Express's founder and CEO, Kate Dyer. Now, the panel subpoenaed Biomed IRB for all documents related to its approval of STEM Express's research protocol. Biomed IRB's executive director informed the panel that, in regards to those records, quote, there are none. In other words, Biomed clearly violated federal regulations on IRBs. But the head of Bio Biomed went further. He told the panel to just bring on a contempt proceeding. That's the IRB STEM Express used. That says a lot about STEM Express's motives, and it says a lot about the accomplishments of the select panel. None of this shameful practices would have been discovered if not for the panel's investigative work this year. As a physician and researcher, I know that if I had used the same shady tactics as STEM, as STEM Express and Biomed IRB, at best my research reputation would be at risk, and at worst I'd be facing prison.